Brilliant. Well done. The diverse county of Wiltshire may be landlocked, but it has a very important waterway running through it. The Kennet and Avon Canal stretches for 87 miles connecting Bristol on the River Avon to Reading on the Thames. Close to the canal's highest point near Marlborough sits the Crofton Pumping Station, a remarkable feat of engineering which allows boats to travel to the top of the hill and continue their journey. I've come to meet the pumping station's chairman, John Willis. John, I've been to quite a few things on the Kennet and Avon Canal, but I've not been here. Can you, can you tell me what's going on here? It looks like one of those amazing pieces of Victorian wizardry with um, pumps and bells, is it? It is. It, uh, it was built in 1809, oh. and it houses the oldest working beam engine in the world. And so the water is basically is pumping from this pond here up, is that, is that correct? That's right. This is the highest natural point of, of water and it pumps the water from there just up 40 feet to the summit of the canal. In the 1950s, the pumping station became redundant and after a major restoration project was reopened in 1972. Today, it's a place of historic importance and attracts many visitors to witness how it's worked for over 200 years. At the heart of the operation is the boiler room, which generates the power to make the pumping possible. Wow, look, they're like works of art. It is a work of art. This ah. is a Lancashire boiler. And in terms of the coal, how much do you use? We use about a tonne and a quarter. So uh, it goes in there? Yes. Oh, 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 that is very nice and warm, actually. <laughs> wow. OK, can I indulge my childhood steam engine dream and put some in? You certainly can. OK, here we go. Brilliant. Well done. So how hot does it get in there? It's about 1,000 degrees. The boiler heats water to create steam, which travels along pipes into the engine room. John uses ornate wrought iron levers to control the valves which let the steam into the engine, which starts the mechanism. And now this is gravity pulling it back up. That's gravity getting, taking, taking it back up again. But I'm controlling with how fast it goes back. I see. The engine is like a giant seesaw. The steam pushes the piston of one end down, lifting the pump on the other end of the beam, drawing the water up 40 feet from the reservoir outside before pumping it into a channel leading to the summit of the canal. So this is the water coming out. That is amazing. So every stroke, a tonne of water comes out. And there's 10 strokes a minute? About 10 strokes a minute. So 600 tonnes in an hour? It's a lot of water. So when this is not working, how does the water get up? There's a very small electric pump down on the edge of the canal, which is about this big, <laughs> doing the same job that this does. Amazing. 